Hello, everybody. I am trying to make sure that I got my camera properly. Hi, Judy. Hi, Jessica. Okay. Actually, let me leave it on auto. Okay, so <clears throat> I've seen some stuff lately and I thought of uh, showing you how to do... It's a little break from the uh, flowers thing because I was trying to figure out what to do that would get today within the one hour. Hi Beth, hi Donna, hi Elaine. Um, and I decided let me just take a short break from the flowers thing and just do a cane because I know everybody loves canes. So what's the whole idea about this uh, three triple effect brocade? I did show this kind of stuff before. Um, the, the type of brocade effect when I did the uh, a pen and I think I did one more thing like that hi Susan hi Tammy hi Ellen hi Cecile uh, what is practically a brocade cane a brocade cane is a cane that you create a triangle in such a way that once you start placing it simply by flipping it vertically, horizontally, and both vertically and horizontally, you create an effect. And why is it called a brocade cane? Because this is exactly how the elements in a typical brocade fabric uh, repeat. So, hi, I don't know, I don't think for me it's going to be over for a while. I am a little bit more cautious than that. <laughs> anyway, so, to start with, I decided that I'm going to use the background of black. So, I do have some black here. And I really need to do, I don't know when I'm going to do that, but really soon. Uh, an unpacking with uh, poly, one of poly clay plays, um, two of poly clay plays uh, boxes I got just to show you a few things and also to show you how, and I talked about that before, how polymer clay should be packaged in summer when it's hot if you don't want to have problems with your polymer clay. Okay, so let's start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, um, a whatchamacallit. Actually, before I do anything else, give me just a second to be able to show you something. just so we get better what I've been talking about. Okay, let me move to display. So, if we take a, a classical brocade pattern, right? Let me get this one would be a classical brocade pattern. This one would be, this one wouldn't. This one wouldn't the all your problem is and yes you can make canes absolutely you can make canes this uh complicated all you need is just you know patience because to make all these repeat would take quite a bit but what does it take to create to actually create a brocade cane you need to find where the pattern is repeating and for that let me open my uh, 
two. Let me do this. So I can show you exactly how a brocade cane functions. So this would be the brocade cane pattern. And you need to find where exactly is the pattern repeating in order for you to be able to um, get it identical, right? And in this case, uh, let me see. In this case, we have actually two triangles, but you can have just one triangle if we go. This is not a good, this is not a good example, sorry. This is not perfect brocade. This would be the easiest to understand. It's not a very good image though. Let's get back to this one. Okay, if I get this one a little bit larger. On this one, it's very easy to find the triangle. And the triangle would be from here to here to here to here, pretty much. So, let me copy this. Okay, this is not good. To have enough room for this. And let's paste this thing here. What the heck did you do? Not this one. Uh, this one. Okay, so we got this one. Let me make it a little bit larger so it can be easier seen. Now you want something? Go. 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 I got him out. I got him food. I got him water and everything. And of course, the moment I start doing something he wants. Okay. Let me get this a little bit better noticeable. Okay, so this would be the basic triangle, right? But this is a, just a simple effect. And if I get a new one, and I get this one as it is, let me get it a little bit straighter. So, I get this one as it is, and I copy it here. Then I'm going to flip it horizontally. And again, copy it here. And let's undo this. Then I'm going to flip it vertically. And again, copy it. Paste it here. Undo this. Then I'm going to flip it once horizontally and once vertically. 
and then I'm going to copy it and place it here and we got the image but not just the image well it's not perfectly aligned but you get my what I mean but if I keep placing all these four I'm going to create that pattern of the brocade and get this one here we just keep going and creating this exact pattern that you've seen in the fabric itself sorry not this one I got the wrong one mm, this one and one more just to make the point and we are going to recreate this big pattern let me make it a little easier to see. So, as you can see, how this is created is created like this by simply by simply flipping that um what you call it that triangle slice and that's creating a pattern but what happens when you practically have a type of design at any point in the triangle at not just at the corners but also at one of the middles because as you have seen that triangle has to be a right angle angle triangle and what's called an isosceles triangle that means that the two uh, sides of the right uh, angle have to be equal so what happens if we have instead of having a like that one instead of having a triangle that has stuff like this what happens if we have a triangle that has stuff in this corner in this corner in this corner and a little bit here so let's see how that happens now, what happens when we do that and as I said I'm going to use black as the filler material and I got here I keep trying to see what the, there's my white I couldn't find my white um, and I'm going to add some white to this I'm a little upset because I found one of my blades on the carpet on the floor and I think that only a certain somebody could have done that and I'm not happy to know that a certain somebody would go and start playing with the blades you know because he can get seriously hurt What I'm going to do, I'm going to do just some very delicate thing. Not super complex. Just because I want everybody to be able to do something like this. And again, yes, I could have done the Skinner Blends before the live. And when it's the case, you know that I do. But as there's always new people... I, uh, I'd rather do it online live so people can see how it's done. So let me say hello to who didn't come or didn't say hi Mihaela. 
Hi, Sarah. Hi, Chris. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Judith. Um, because they're still a week before. Before the monthly chat, I didn't put it yesterday because it's two days before. You know, if it, today was the first, yeah, I would have done the monthly chat yesterday. And again, don't ever worry too much about your white getting a little bit contaminated. It's fine. In these cases, it's fine. Remember that you have a sp if you have a spot on one of your sheets, when you start reducing that spot is going to be noticeable only if you have a magnifying glass and or a microscope all right now thank you sandra uh now let me grab a few of these and remember to measure you always put all the clay on the same thickness and it doesn't matter the shape of the cutter what matters is that you use only the same cutter on all the clays. I prefer to use this specific cutter because uh, it's easier to cut in half and in quarters. It's easier to measure quarters and eighths and stuff like that. Yeah, so how I'm doing, I'm kind of struggling here because uh, I've increased my thyroid med and it worked for a few days. I started getting better and then it stopped working again. So what I think is happening is that my thyroid is dying at a fast pace right now. And I still don't want to get out of the house yet to get blood work done because... I don't know, for me at least it's not very safe out there. Tomorrow I need to actually call my eye doctor and try to reschedule the appointment because I'm not comfortable with the idea of somebody being five inches away from my face, you know. So I found, uh, I, I, I went ahead and I got, uh, there's a place online that I used to get before I managed to get to a specialist. Uh, I got some uh, thyroid extract. You don't need a prescription for it. Um, and uh, it worked for a while. The problem was that it was expensive. But now with the increase in my, because I said I cannot take, Synthroid doesn't do anything for me. Apparently, armor is too weak and then by my understanding they changed the formulation back in 2015 2017 something like that and everybody's complaining and uh, I know that it was kind of working but it was a tad expensive for me but because Medicare doesn't cover armor I'm getting mm, it's more expensive for me to buy it from the pharmacy than to buy it from this online website so anyway let's get back to right now I'm going to cut some stuff and then figure out where I want to go with it I'm just building as we go okay because I know the type of effect I want to uh, show you yeah I know Tammy I have the synthroid only provides the T4 and I need the T3 that's the problem that's the biggish problem there but again the Medicare doesn't cover it neither does Medicaid so It was one thing when I had to take less and it was 20 bucks a month, but it's a different thing now that I have to take more and it's over 60 bucks a month. 
because at this point I can get a full thyroid extract from that company online and it's uh, it costs me 60 bucks for th three months so yeah you just have to get uh, a little bit more than the let's say if you take a uh, 60 milligrams of armor you need to take a hundred milligrams of that it's and it's bovine and it's bovine from New Zealand and New Zealand never had a mad cow disease case so they are experiencing a little bit of a um, delay in shipping but uh, it's not too bad I mean I got my order I ordered like four days ago and I got it yesterday so it's not too bad anyway Tammy if you want to look into it it's called Thyrovans so with a Z in the end okay now let me see what do I want to do I'm going to pair some of this wasabi with some white first I might want another wasabi hold on a second let me grab another so one wasabi with white and I'm going to make it double. Then I'm going to make a wasabi yellow white. A red and white. And I'm going to make that simple. Maybe. A red, yellow and white. Now let's do this double here and the yellow and white okay now remember how I do usually how I do hi Sonia um, hi Cinnabon how I usually do my skin blends that work the easiest for me This is one. And this is a second one. I have been with the increasing, as I said, with the increasing uh, in thyroid medication. I've been a little bit more alert, more active, but uh, not enough. Definitely not enough. Actually, I think that what I'm going to do with that red. I'm going to give it only one red and two whites because the red is so strong so I'm going to go like this
So the ones that would be the easiest made will be the yellow and the wasabi. I don't know, I always call it avocado. <laughs> and the uh, wasabi yellow. And this is, um, whatchamacallit, the um, cadmium yellow. Let me see if... Yes, he did not mess it up completely. Oops. Excuse me. Finnegan didn't manage to mess up the machine. So we are good. I'm gonna just turn this all, the sound off for a second. Okay, so now I'm going to do the whole hurried up Skinner blend thing. So first fold it flatten it. Make sure to kind of keep your lines properly. Because when you roll, it's like you have, normally when you fold, you have two, right? When you roll, look at how many one on top of the other you have. So one more time. And not only that, but you'll be able to keep your... Um, width under control.
just make sure you don't grab too much air when you do this okay so this is ready to go in the machine again I'm going to just gently flatten it so it can go in and you can see it's almost perfect already now again fan flatten oops excuse me and again careful to preserve your lines of color don't get them too uh, messed up I did mess up a little bit here but that's not too bad and then roll because normally if I would go just by the machine all these would take me about 25 min to 30 minutes of continuous rolling and folding and rolling and folding and all that actually this one being thick I'm gonna just get it through the machine once because I don't want to tire my hands too much one more and then in the third it will be ready for the machine practically but remember the uh, wasabi is a little bit darker than the yellow so it's gonna be like one extra pass that it's going to need okay so this is pretty much ready for the machine too and that's what I'm doing with all of them the longest it's going to take the uh, red and white that's going to be the longest thing Yeah, and I thought of making this with some more vivid colors that would be more like South and Central America colors that are fairly bright and pure and the combination with black is also fairly often encounter. I thought initially of putting it on uh, ultramarine blue but then I thought well yeah that is really very south and central American but not a lot of people in the US would like it because it's a little bit too colorful flashy if you get my meaning it is a beautiful combination nonetheless one more roll yes I do need one more roll and then this should be good for the machine and in the machine I'm going to just do three or four folds and it should be good because it as I said it doesn't have to be perfect perfect because with the reducing and everything you won't be able to notice when we are talking about flower petal canes or something else that really tries to imitate or has a perfect uh, create a perfect uh, image or something like a, you know like a rose cane or something like that then yeah you have to be very very careful with the quantities in the whatchamacallit in the Skinner blend as well as the way that you combine them as well as how well they are blended 
because for some things you might need a linear blend here I just wanted a blend blend hi Renea hi Karen <laughs> thank you okay so this is going to take like four even five rolls because as you can see the difference in uh, the more different when it comes to light or dark the colors are in a Skinner blend the more times you're going to have to fold and pass through the machine or do this uh, expedited rolling thing I'm doing and of course the longest it takes to do a black and white one obviously because those are the lightest and the darkest of all colors Another thing that I think might have uh, done a little bit of good to my feeling of uh, fatigue is that normally I wake up at about 3.30, 4 o'clock. Hi, Francis. Most of the time I'm thirsty or I need to go to the bathroom. And usually by the time I'm done, I'm already awake and I'm like, okay, where's my coffee? But in the last three days, I kind of forced myself to actually go back to bed. And guess what? I was able to sleep in all these three days till 5.30. And I didn't feel as tired when I woke up. So... But I still think it's not normal, you know? Because normally all my life I only had to sleep seven hours, uh, at most seven hours. I, when I was younger I was sleeping four to five hours and just do 15 minutes meditations and that was fine. But as I got older and with all these issues of mine, I cannot do that anymore. Okay, this is the fourth or the fifth because I'm not... I forgot. Okay, let's narrow it down a little bit. before I'm sorry but before I get to the red and white I need to go take my pill talking of which in just a second <sighs> So in case you missed him, I brought him here to say hi. He's here to say hi. His majesty, his royalty. Yes, he's so sweet. He's sleepy. He's sleepy. Don't touch him. Okay, okay. Hold on. Let's see him a little bit closer. just sleeping sleeping in his posh and his his uh, tail is getting squirrel taily okay you wanna go back to sleep your mama get you back to sleep say hello and goodbye say hello and goodbye
No, I was on a different uh, dose, but as I said, I started today. I actually started a different brand of full thyroid extract. We'll see how that works, if it works better. Because fortunately for me, I mean, fortunately, the thing is that uh, having had hyperthyroidism before, I know the symptoms perfectly as I lived with them for several good years. So if at any point I can feel that if I took, if it is too much for me and stop it to take a lower dose so but again I'm not comfortable and my doctor isn't comfortable to get me to the clinic every two weeks to get my blood drawn there she's actually not comfortable with getting me to the clinic for the time being period so Let's do one roll. But yeah, I thought you might want to see Finnegan. He went in. He's on the cat tree. Let me see if I can show him to you, if you can see him at all. It's, a, it's not very bright. So I don't think you can see him. Let me try and let's try this. There he is. <laughs> he is at his on his little cat tree. I mean, that's the big cat tree from the guys, not uh, his. He's got a personal one in the living room. Yes, he is spoiled rotten. Spoiled rotten, I swear. But he's just so sweet that I have to forgive everything he does. Well, almost everything. When he starts pestering the big guys, he actually got a couple, you know, mama cat kind of swatting, you know, the two fingers and bop on the head, gently. Gentlier than a mama cat, anyway. He's trying to get himself the alpha. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind, but he's getting vicious sometimes. Like poor Seamus, he would lay down on Finnegan's cage looking out the window. Hi, Teresa. And, uh, Finnegan comes and just starts directly munching on him until Seamus leaves. And you'd think that Finnegan did that because he, want, he wanted to sit and look out the window. Nope. He just wanted to, to get Finnegan out of there. So, okay. So as you can see, this one takes a little bit more rollings and things. And what I wanted to show you actually, I've been in uh, emailing back and forth with Cool Tools because most of their very fine line uh, textures are not oven safe. So. 
obviously you cannot do liquid clay with those but uh, I've been asking which of them if they have any and which of them would be and yes they do have there's a line they started recently that's made out of this blue silicone type thing and I got one of them and I'm going to try it with liquid clay because these ones you can put them in the oven they are safe up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit so I want to see how this works with liquid clay because I want to do a certain something with these you'll see hopefully soon but yeah they have several uh, fine line like that uh, things oh my goodness <laughs> that's fine Gail go help at this point we are pretty much where we want to be to be able to do just a couple folding and repeating the machine to have everything done what I want to do is to keep these not very wide because if I want to use them in my little designs uh, on the cane I don't want them to be overly wide because I'm going to use them to create the design and I need them to be only a, a certain length obviously right so preparing it to go in the machine let me get the machine up Okay, and then what I'm going to need, I'm going to need a few lines of this. <laughs> Thank you, Renea. So I'm going to need a few lines of all the other colors, okay? And the other thing that I need, obviously, is some of the black. Because I said I'm going to use the black as a filler. Uh, 
Yeah, you, you know, Renea, because so many people asked, if you go in my Amazon Influencer Store, uh, you'll find the section that's just with nail polish. And this one is a color club. And I think that this, the name for this one is Harp on it. Uh, color club has a line that's all hologram, holographic. And it's with plain like this, the so-called fairy dust. Then it's got one that's slightly pinkish. Then it's got two beautiful blues. Uh, it's got a green. Uh, it's got several magenta pinkish stuff. So yeah, they are gorgeous. I think that this one is harp on it and the other one that's a little bit pinkish is uh, either Psychic Sidewalk or Cloud9. But you'll be able to see it. Okay, so... This one is very soft. The black that I have is very soft. I know I ordered some more but that's why i didn't do anything beforehand because i'm gonna just get it in the pasta machine twice otherwise it's going to be way too soft okay now let's create okay where's my thing here and let me get my readers on so I'm going to want to do one of the corners is going to be uh, the yellow the other corner is going to be the wasabi the other corner is going to be the red and then I'm gonna do a few combinations with these and then on the center here is going to be whatever I have left over from here okay <laughs> thank you Susan okay now let's go ahead and see this is I'm going to remove all the ends all the edges because I don't want to have all this uh, raggedy rag thing here And obviously, I want to get this off. This one is not too bad. I'm gonna still get the edges off. I'm going to keep this in case I need more of anything. The same for this. I'm going to keep this little tongues I call them because they look like little tongues and there's two gorgeous awesome artists and gorgeous ladies who are here and I'm gonna start feeling very intimidated I'm joking I'm not okay now this one you see I kind of got it a little bit It's the, the little tongues that usually go astray. So, it kind of interrupted my line, my skin and blend line. And again, don't get the, oh yeah, I'm sorry, the, thank you. Uh, don't get the, don't get stressed over the fact that your skin and blend is not perfect. It's gonna be just fine. Actually, I have him planned to show you, uh, but that's going to be an uploaded tutorial. Um, a cane that's going to be all on uh, spazzy finger... Um, see, you said that. <laughs> on spazzy skin blends, not fingers. Hey, they... Yeah, what, Judy? Okay, so 
Yeah, you kind of need to. Just wait a little bit, because I have a surprise for you, Karen, okay? Just wait a little bit. Okay. Now, as I said, one is going to be, and you see I'm going, I'm kind of trying to get them almost at the same, they don't have to be at the exact same width, but almost, all right? Now, I'm going to get this one, and I'm going to get, usually I like to make my canes about one to one and a half inches, so let's see what I did here. It's two and a half inches. Let's do a one and a quarter, the height of the cane. That should work just fine. All right, now, these are going to go on black. Yeah, just go tell her to unfreak out because you need it. And the other thing that I'm going to do on with them, I'm going to put another, I'm going to sandwich them practically between blacks. I just hope I'll be able to reduce because it might get a little bit bigger than I'm, my hands are comfortable with. Okay, so we have one of these and we have one of these and then one of them is going to get on white. The other one is going to get on yellow. So I got, this will be for one of the corners, right? So let's start creating it. I am going to go pinch in this end. And kind of pretty much getting it a little bit on the thinner side. Then I'm going to bring this part over the bottom part. now here and 
this again I'm going to pinch on one end hold on I messed up here never mind I messed up here and I'll tell you how I messed up and I'm gonna fix it because I didn't go with the Skinner blend Duh. Derp, derp. okay so again pinch on one end it's gonna be just fine no worries pinch one end bring the other end over I just realized because I was like why isn't this one on the white on this end all right this one again make sure that you do not like I did <laughs> so again pinch on one end and with the yellow pinch on one end and then I'm going to grab a slice a slice a line of black that is going to end up in a sausage this is going to be a big cane trust me okay let's make a sausage here and let's gently teardrop this sausage And I'm pinching it here and now again I'm bringing this part down let me get the camera like this so you can see better what I'm doing so and it's focusing there we go okay so I am bringing it down and at the same time I don't let it get widened up because usually whenever you you get something a little bit thinner the clay will have the tendency to widen out the, the whole thing like if I make this thin this end will want to go like this so you always have to make sure that you come back and you get it properly thinned out so I kind of have here like a half of a teardrop right and then what I'm going to do and I'm going to aid myself with one of Teresa's cane benders the round ones Let me make sure that this is straight here and see how it again it starts uh, it starts widening because I kind of got it a little bit thinner so always make sure that you come back and you get it properly and then I'm going to insert here a sausage because remember here I want I'm on creating on a triangle sorry about that let me get back here now 
so now I have this and I have this I am going to stretch this out a little bit it's a little bit too <coughs> too much so I need to reformat it and this will be one of my bottom triangles obviously I need to put something in here let's This is taking much longer than I hoped. <laughs> hey. So I'm gonna get me a square and I'm gonna flatten it a bit. And then I'm gonna cut on a diagonal to get a triangle pretty much as much as I can get a triangle and remember again don't get fretted out that oh my god this is not a perfect triangle you flatten it with your finger and it's gonna be fine hi British Columbia Canada okay so this is one of the corners one of the bottom corners because remember I said I'm gonna do like this it's gonna be one for each corner and then a little bit of something on the middle line so the second one is going to be the wasabi one and I need more black and I might have to you know what let's continue this in a couple hours because I'm starting to have pain in my back so I need to lay down for a little while it's 138 uh, let's say at 330 central time I'll be back on and we'll finish this because I it shouldn't take me more than an hour but I really need to relax my back muscles you okay with that and then we'll finish this whole thing and I promise you I'll have all my clay my filling clay ready <laughs> okay and I'm sorry but I really need to do this my back muscles started spasming so I shall see you all in a couple hours so 3 30 p.m. central time that is GMT minus 5 so it will be like 8 30 your time in GMT 9.30 ok thank you bye for now I'll see you in a couple hours